This week, Garen and Ellie veer off to build a double doghouse, we prep Shay's car for a fancy paint job, and Bryson and I whip up some hand sanitizer. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> she's just not, she's like, I do not want to be filmed. <laughs> We have got to upgrade the dog pen. Yeah, we're going to have to take a break from the aquaponics this week. And as you can see, our poor dog's dog house has seen better days, I think. <laughs> yeah, and we're supposed to get a lot of rain here. Look at this all. Is that from you laying up here, Diesel? It probably is. so fat. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so it needs a little bit of an upgrade. They're so excited. Azalea's kind of less than enthused. She can't believe we're building our dogs a house before her. You already have a house, sweet girl. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have two doors and a nice peaked roof. I think though we're not gonna do this part here. That way we don't have to worry about trying to find this material here. Nice. Okay, you're about three foot long. Hey, <laughs> get over here. I need you to stay still. Okay, there we go. By about, I don't know, I'd say two and a half foot tall. If we do three foot long by five foot wide, that should be enough for both dogs. We're just using scrap woods around here, so should we go look around and see what yeah. we got? When we opened our shop up, the center wall in there, this is the siding from that. So I think this is what we're gonna use as siding, because it'll kind of match everything else, the sheds and the house, which is awesome, because it's important for your dog house to match your sheds in your house. We have some old two by four cutoffs back over here. So some of these are no good anymore, but there'll be some in here that are good. I guess we build a deck first, and then frame the sides, and then side it, and then roof it. And then paint. Just like building the house. The floor is done. It's a little bit hodgepodge together, and these are a little bit different height, but you know what? At the end of the day, it still is a dog house, and we had this board lying around, so it's what we used. Now, put the walls on it, and they're gonna be two foot six. I'm just gonna do the two top boards, and then we'll do the uprights, and we'll just toenail them into this. That should be fine. So I've got my little car and it runs beautifully. Just the paint's peeling in some spots and I'd like to put my own touches on it and just repaint it. I was thinking yellow. I don't have a lot of time today, but I was thinking I would sand the hood. Whoa, Santa! There's no pressure, it's so. No, really, there's no pressure to get this job done. And maybe re-sticker the radio circle-y thingy. All will be explained when you see it. It'll make sense. Plan B, work around it. Looks like there's screws in the back. Oh. Wow, these stickers do not stick well. Maybe. I bet you're hoping for a beautiful finished product, but it wasn't working, it was falling apart, so I scrapped the whole idea, took all the stickers off, and I'm hoping to paint it at a later date. So another episode of Brie Barely Bakes. Today we're gonna be exercising the barely part of the title and making some hand sanitizer. Keep in mind, do not eat hand sanitizer. Yeah, wouldn't recommend the consumption of it, just the using of it on things that need to be sanitized. So Like barely. your hands. Surprisingly, hand sanitizer is pretty easy to make. All you need is some aloe vera and rubbing alcohol. These are the Jeez. two ingredients that make That's up simple. hand sanitizer, right? So these are things that you probably have in your cupboard, hidden back in the way back. Here I have two thirds cup of rubbing alcohol and one third cup of the aloe vera. So we're gonna put it in the bowl, the rubbing alcohol, and we're gonna be doing some aloe vera. Woo, that alcohol is potent. It is. So now we're just gonna mix up. This is gel. One has to be careful not to get whisked away whilst doing this particular task. You know, I feel like this is the clean version of cutting onions, where it really gets into your sinuses, those, that rubbing alcohol. Mm. Makes you cry a little inside and out. So when it stops to foam, is that it? Sure, we'll go with that. What is floating around in there? 
Well, whatever it is, it is sanitized. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's lovely. All right, so I think that that probably does it for the whisking process. Now, this probably wouldn't fit in your purse or in your cupboard very well. This is hand sanitizer from the store. You have like one of these bottles that'll work. So we have an empty alcohol bottle. Oh, no, no. All right, do you want to pour it in? It needs to I'll go hold. The other way. Are we prepared for this? Prepared for the porridge? Like, a little bit thicker than liquid. All right. Jelly. Let me do a little. Shakeage. I'm gonna squirt a little bit on my hand and kind of Ooh. see and then rub it in. It feels clean. If it has the hand sanitizer -y feel to it, it doesn't feel like it's completely drying my hands out. I feel right. sanitized. Let's hand sanitize Bryson. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like yeah. it. Feels like it. It's gotta be it. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Oh, oh. Michelle. <laughs> oh, Kim's Kim 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 Kim. He's like I don't know if we really want to double dose on a hand sanitizer, but we'd also like to compare it with some of the store-bought that we have left here. Instead of resetting our palates, we're going to reset our hands with some soapage. Our hands are going to be so clean after this, we could lick them. Wouldn't recommend that. What is Luna doing? We've got her head jammed in the couch there. <laughs> Alright, for comparison. Drum roll, please. This there. also has refreshing aloe in it, but I don't know if it's as refreshing as our aloe. Oh, oh a little bit thicker. Ooh, it doesn't feel as moisturizing. Has a little bit of a different smell. Now I'm getting the moisturizing feeling. Uh, they both feel the same, let's be honest. I bet mm -hmm. you they have some lotion y stuff they put in there too. Well, that has aloe, refreshing apparently. Since this thing kills like 99.99% of germs or something like that, gets cleansed by that, and then this helps refresh your hands. I see the yeah, logic. I know that I'm an expert on it and stuff, but I have no idea. It's if you'd like to make some of this, we'll also have the recipe down in the description. I mean, it's pretty simple, but if you'd like that as well. My hands feel softer. They feel baby smooth. Thank you so much for being with us, and good luck creating some hand sanitizer. As you can see, we broke down and we bought some new wood. Just a few two by fours to finish it up. We didn't have quite enough material. We had a lot though. Yeah, probably about 50% of it. It's always fun to work with new stuff. And we're gonna get that going now. Yeah. Get the rest of it finished. Are you talking? <laughs> Framing is done for the walls, so I'm gonna put siding on it now, and then we'll do the roof. Siding is going on. Come on in. Yeah. Oh yeah, you'll fit in there nicely, huh? You and Petrol, guys at least you don't have your own little space, huh? Yeah, I'll show you. See how it turns from this dark black to this gray? That's where we want it. Yeah, there's the gray starting to show up. There we go. See that gray? My big beautiful beast is going to be yellow. It looks really nice when Garen did it a while It looked back. really nice, and it's gonna look really nice when it's gone too. It's just weathered too much, huh? The weather has been abusive to it. Out of everything, the hood is probably looking the worst. Even the roof is doing better. We're not really sure what to do. We do know that we have metal, and then we have a gray primer here. What we wanna do is we wanna just take everything off, get a good primer, and then put our paint on. It's clear that this primer is not very good. Yeah, and I think what they do, Shay, is I think they bring it down to the metal, then they put the primer on, and then they sand the primer nice and flat. And okay. then they go on top of it with the paint. Is that what we're gonna do, do you think? Yep, sounds good. Let's sand it. Okay, more sanding, eh? More sanding. Lots go. of sanding. This is what happens to your hand after a while of sanding. Yeah. 
got a lot done. Yeah, getting it done slowly but surely. Problem is with this particular car is I don't know if you necessarily need to go down to the metal if you have stock paint. Paint that was put on was just rattle can paint. So we want to at least get the black off. But by the time you get the black off, you're metal. <laughs> so anyway. Looking good. Starting to look nice. Show him your city boy outfit because it's so embarrassing. Oh, that's true. I have to have a harness because he has to have a leash thing. So now he's got a little vest tuxedo thing. Is he a city boy now? He's, he's a, a city, city boy. boy. See, yeah. city boys are cool too. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this to trim it because it's, it's a real dull gray color. We were going to use it for some pallet wood something. It's not as pretty as the pallet wood. Coat of paint on it and you won't even notice. Are you standing up, Curly? So yeah, look at me going. She likes bouncing. <laughs> you jumping? You jumping? Oh, good job. You stand up straight, straight and tall, huh? Oh, good job, sweetheart. I got everything done, I think, except for the sheeting on the roof and then paint. I think it's time to start putting the metal on the roof. I don't have very good metal and I don't have a lot of it. So I'm hoping that that's gonna be enough. I kinda see my stack there. It's not great. It's what I got, so it's what I'm gonna use. piece of the building is going on. I think after this ridge cap that I kind of jerry together here, I think that's everything. I don't think there's any more building left, only painting. Let me get that on here. There we go. Well, good. It's amazing. Just that door left, right? Yeah, that the bo It's kind of the bottom part left. Okay. Wow. Did he get that bottom part? Tell us yeah, I think he did. Left. He got the bottom on that one. The family got out and did the rest of the standing today. It looks beautiful in its own right. We almost just clear coated it and sent it on its way. <laughs> we decided to continue forward with our original plan. What color Nothing. yellow did you go with? Canary yellow or mustard yellow or? I don't know. Yellow. <laughs> it's yellow. Okay. I have, there's nothing more to say. I want to talk more, but that's it. <laughs> the standing, done. No more, no more topic. Tomorrow, a week from now. That tomorrow. Cut. Cut. <laughs> All the building is done. Now we just gotta paint her up and put some trim on it. Yep.
have all our trim pieces that Ellie got painted up, so I'm gonna just put all these on, you know, just to cover up all the seams and kind of make it look nice. That's a wrap. Got the doghouse completed so the dogs can stay dry and we can stop letting them in the house when it's all rainy. And I'm happy with the way this thing looks. Looks very, I don't know, just neat and tidy in here. Plus it matches the aquaponic system. So you know, you gotta love that. What do you guys think about your new doghouse, huh? There it is. If you remember a few months ago, we all took a guess at how tall Ollie was going to get. Now that Ollie is fully grown, let's take a look back. I'm guessing between the height of Chip and Luna. He's gonna get bigger than Chip. I'm thinking similar to what you were thinking between Chip and Luna, but I'm thinking like halfway mark, like the exact half. And I'm definitely going for between Luna and Bullet. Oh. I think he's gonna be bigger. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, Dad, what about you? Okay, so I'm, no, I'm thinking one half inch taller than Chip. He probably is gonna be like an inch shorter than Luna. Who's taller? What do you think, Gare? Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. They're almost the same size. That's not what we wanted. Nobody wants a tie. And we want a winner. Go. Oh, see now your dog looks taller. But no, not anymore. Look Actually, at I mom. think Ollie wins because he's got this little arch back thing going. That takes him over that. Like, sometimes people win a race by the just by the, their little the nose. of their hair. Yeah, and he does by the little arch of his back. I think the goat wants in the, on the measurement. Who's taller? I think Crash is there taller. There we go. Crash wins. <laughs> Good, because we can't have a tie. We have to have a winner. We have to have a winner. Ties are for babies. There's no such thing as a tie. Winners. We want winners. It was Luna, I think. Luna. It was the goat. It was Luna, huh? It was the goat. This is also the t-shirt design of the week. If you'd like to get this design or past designs that we've done on any of the fabulous products that we offer in our spread shop, the link will be down in the description. There is a wealth of knowledge out there on hand sanitizers. We've only provided three links, but there's plenty of stuff out there if you go do your research. You may have already heard, but there is distilleries all over the place that are giving away free hand sanitizer as well. We really appreciate you being a part of our family and hanging out with us. We look forward to hanging out with you some more for Monday for our audio only podcast. Bye. Family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. That's what they mean when they say no pressure. Gotcha. No air pressure. Clearly. Well, are you going? Yes. Are you sure? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about now? Is there a blinking red light? There's a blinking red okay. light. Okay. Gee, I'm glad the goat won because and we want a winner. <laughs> you may have already heard that there's distilleries all around that are giving away alcohol if you bring your own bottle. <laughs> I'm sorry, rub it up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go.